Well, the majority of our Colorado Rocky Mountains have reached snowpack or they're at above normal numbers this year. But there's something threatening to melt that snow way too fast. We're talking about dirt and dust. Wind has blown in nasty dirt from neighboring states like Utah, turning the snow brown. Mountain Newsroom reporter Spencer Wilson is here to explain all this. And Spencer, this certainly makes the snow melt crazy fast. Darren, basically the more dirt and dust on the snow, the hotter the sun melts. Excuse me, the snow melts from the sun. It's like having inverse sunscreen. You basically put it on and then solar radiation hits way harder. Normally, Colorado gets around six or seven dust storms. This year we've seen 10 to 11 and we've seen some pretty serious ones too. If you get one or two bad dust events, that could just really wreck you for the season. The more dust that settles onto our Colorado snow, the less sunlight it reflects lowering what's called albedo. And that means the dust is making the snowpack absorb more solar radiation than otherwise on a clean, shiny snow surface, if you will. It's not just the dust on top of the snow you have to worry about. There's dust storms throughout the spring and winter, and that means you might find dust layers further into the snowpack as the snow melts. The slower our snow melts, the better our soil is able to absorb the water. But the faster it goes, the more it just runs downhill without sinking in to alleviate our thirsty state. And the dust we're seeing can be from hundreds of miles away. The dust comes from the Four Corners area. That area around northern New Mexico, northern Arizona, southern Utah, that's the main dust source for the Colorado mountains. Colorado has seen severe dust storm conditions for almost a decade now, but this year so far has stood out, something to watch for as our snowpack melts. Now, clean snow can reflect up to 90% of sunlight. Right now in some parts of Colorado, we're seeing it reflect 38%. Clearly not a good omen. Live in Frisco, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. Tough news, Spencer. Okay, thank you.